Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to look at Oracle Decode function. The Oracle Decode function was developed to give the users the ability to transform the data at retrieval time. It gives the if then else statements ability in an SQL statement. So Decode quite works similar to case but it is much uh, lower or much smaller in functionality than the case statement. Now what a Decode statement looks like? The decode statement starts with the keyword decode. Okay, then the decode uh, keyword is followed by open parenthesis, and the decode statement would end at closing parenthesis. Inside this parenthesis will all will be all the logic that we will be working with the decode statement. The very first column or the very first value that you find in the parenthesis will be the expression or a value or a column name, anything like that. Now this value or column name or expression will be compared against the first search condition as soon as the decode is executed. Now if the search condition and the expression matches with each other, the result one will be shown. Now if, these, if this condition results to false, then the next condition, then and only, only then the next condition is checked. And that would be this expression being compared to the second search condition. If this matches the result is the second result is shown. Subsequently all the search conditions are checked and at the end if nothing matches a default statement is printed or returned. Now this default over here is really optional. Now this default helps when uh, you are say suppose you are searching against a column and the value in the column doesn't match any of the search conditions. In that case, default value will be given to that column's value. If default is not there, null will be printed. Now to understand this in a better way, what I'll do is, I'll create a table called as customers. The customer table has just two columns. Customer ID, that is number and region, which is where there. I'll insert some data with insert all into statement. Over here, I am inserting around 6 customers, customer ID and their region. But the region as you see is in abbreviated form that is E, N, W, S. Now, I want to write a select statement for this table in which if I find region as E, I want East to be printed. If I want to re find region as W, I want West and similar data. And if the region doesn't match east, west, north or south, I want to print unknown region. So what I'll do is, I'll write a select statement, I'll take the customer ID, I'll take also the region to better understand and then I'll write the decode statement. As I said, decode start with a decode keyword and ends at the closing parenthesis. So here, my logic inside this parenthesis are the column region. If the column region value matches E, it will uh, display East on the screen. If it matches W, West, N, North, S, South. And for any other value than these four, the default value shown will be unknown region. Now this will be executed as follows. As you can see, for E I got East, for N, North, G, I have not specified anything for G. So the default value is printed. So as I said, the default is not mandatory. Say suppose I remove this default from here and execute the statement. What happens is, as G doesn't have any subsequent result set assigned to it over here, we get null value. So to avoid nulls, default are used. So this is a pretty easy way to understand the decode statement. The execution will be like, the value in the region column will be compared. It will be like, if say suppose, customer ID 100. So, so E will be compared with this set. First, one by one hierarchy. As soon as a match is uh, got, the next row will be brought into consideration. So for the first row, it will get E. So E meets East. So East will be printed here. Then the next, as the match is done, the next uh, row is called that is employee id 101 for that region is n so 
region n equals to e is false so next is executed region n equals to w is false so next is executed region n equals to n is true so north is uh, the result which is shown okay so this is the way how an execution of decode happens uh, with a select statement and say suppose none of these are met then at the end the default value is shown if there is no default present null will be shown so this is a simple way to write a decode statement now one important thing that i i noticed with default is say suppose we have written a de uh, decode statement like select decode bracket open 10 into 50 which results into 150 so when 150 matches with 150 i am printing 150 on the screen if it somehow matches with 200 i am printing 200 on the screen otherwise i am just printing no match so when i execute it i get obviously 150 on the screen what i want to know understand over here is even when we do a number 10 into number 15 which results into a number 150 but if I compare with it with a character 150 and execute, as you can see 150 is still returned. It is like number 10 into 15 is equal to character 150. So this states that decode is not case sensitive. It is case independent. It has m matched number with character. It, it, it has done an implicit conversion and still this condition is satisfied to true and the result is printed on the screen okay now there is no really way to write it in this way that i have written that is in you know, one after the other line this is just for understanding i have mentioned you can easily write like this but this is a little bit confusing to understand when data is written like this so i i always uh, put each and every uh, condition or expression one below the other to understand it better now one more thing that decode will uh, uh, use uh, that we will use with decode is null values say suppose we are comparing two null values now as we know null is not equals to null because null is absence of data so we cannot say absence of data is equal to absence of data but when we execute something like decode null comma that is this is our uh, first column or scalar value which will be compared to null if this is true these both are uh, met and the condition is true null data is printed or else at the end default not null is printed so when executed the output is null data what it is doing is it is doing something like what we do in select statements uh, to work with column with null value that will we will write like column name is null so when we write column name is null in a select statement where clause like say select star, star from xyz where column name is null so if there is any data in the column column name which is null this uh, statement will give me so that is what has happened here here null which is compared to other null with this is clause like null is null and the output null data is printed but this is not the case with uh, case statements if you use case statement it behaves differently i have done a separate video on difference between decode and case to understand all such scenarios so over here what it has done is it has done something like column name is null that is null is null and printed null data so this is the way how we can take use of this default uh, decode function default decode function is quite limited in compared to case statement it cannot be used uh, in a PLSQL construct directly, it has to be used in a select statement. You cannot use it in um, calling a procedure. There are many such differences. I have made a separate video on it. Uh, please do watch that also. I hope this video is informative. Please do like, share and subscribe. This is Krishan signing off. Thank you.